Hey everyone, I'm Rachel and I have hamsters and today I wanted to show you what I got from Redwood Grove. This is a hamster spray and chew company based in California. So I got a big box of foraging supplies and sprays from them. This is the Redwood Signature Mix. I got, let's see here, I don't know how much that was, but I got a big bag of it. <laughs> Oh, uh, it said eight ounces, eight ounces of that. I think it comes in one size. And I got three of those sunflower heads, which I had never tried before, so pretty excited about that. And I also got the Ultimate Spray Box. So this one is sort of dependent on availability, what kind of sprays they have, but it usually includes uh, flax and sorghum and millet, um, and then a few additional whatever they have in season or stock of course that is a little bit seasonal and I'm sure they have to get it from somewhere so and this is the sorghum I believe yep I got a hundred grams of sorghum and then I also got a hundred grams of sorghum hybrid just for variety and two more sunflower heads there so I placed these in my freezer for 48 hours before I gave them to my hamsters. This is actually what Redwood Grove recommends, and this is just to make sure there's no bugs that come along with the natural materials here. And here's little Shirley. You may have seen this video. I think I, I did put a clip of this online before. So this is, I placed some sprays around her uh, 75 gallon tank right after I cleaned it and reset it up this last time. And if you haven't seen uh, the tank update video, I will put a link down below in case you're interested. And little Shirley is such a sweetheart. <laughs> I felt bad. I, I thought that she would climb on top of the cork log, but in <laughs> instead she went this way, um, which was really cute and entertaining for me to watch, but probably a little frustrating for her, although she did, she got some. So I think it was all good. And um, that's the whole point of the sprays is to kind of, you know, give them an activity and have them sort of have to work their brains a little bit and figure out how to get to the sprays, which I think it's fun for them. So, <laughs> I mean, she definitely could have found a different way to do this, but who am I to complain? And Shirley, in case you're wondering, she came from a hamster rescue in Southern California. I will link to it down below in case you're interested. And she is a super sweetheart, like rarely ever bites and mostly just licks. <laughs> and it's just like so sweet to hold and pet and watch. She is so much fun. This is Laverne. Laverne is Shirley's sister and they came to me together. Um, Laverne has a abscess at her ear. So that's why you'll see it is pink there. And I also have some cream on the abscess. I'm trying to Hopefully make it get better here soon. Um, and she's enjoying some flax seeds. I have found that flax seeds are one of my hamster's favorites. Um, everyone seems to universally love them. And I use these flax seeds to help get her to kind of hold still for a moment so I could get that cream on her ear. It worked pretty much every time. She's just like so, there isn't a time that I can get her to say no to a flax seed. So <laughs> it's definitely an advantage. Um, if you need your hamster to do something, you can always bribe them with a flax spray, I have found. And I will do also do a video on what's going on with Laverne's ear in case you're interested. And if I've already done it, I will link it down below so you can check that out. Um, it has been kind of a struggle dealing with her health issues lately and um, I just wanted to share that in case it's helpful to any of you out there who also have some sick hamsters. You know, sometimes you it's a lot of things to figure out, but you figure it out. And there's Steven. Steven is a really shy little Roborowski that I have. Actually, he's not that little. He's a pretty big Robo. Um, he's about 40 grams, probably on the like bigger side of Roborowskis or the biggest side. <laughs> but I don't over overfeed him. He rarely has any stash. He just, he's hungry and um, he's really active. He's a very active big boy. And he's also pretty shy. I got Steven in July of 2020 from Petco. He was my very first hamster. 
and he's so sweet he almost never bites um i think the only time he's ever bitten is when i tried to clip his nails um but but otherwise really really sweet guy but pretty nervous so getting a shot of him eating these is kind of a a treat for me and i think this is a testament to how much he likes flax seeds just like laverne um he normally goes running if i put something in his cage but in this case it was like the moment i approached the cage he saw the flax seeds, he knew what they were, and he came just darting out. So <laughs> this is a great way to get a shy hamster. I think if you have a shy hamster, um, I think no one says no to a flax seed. And here is little Sophia. She is enjoying the sorghum hybrid. And I bought this really funny toy from Amazon. I think it's from Rosewood Pets. And it has all these little holes in it, which my hamsters love to hop through, but also you can place the sprays in the little holes. So it's great for encouraging them to have to kind of work a little harder to get for the spray, which is great and perfect for a hamster like Sophia because she is pretty brave and just excited to have a little adventure and try to get some seeds. She's very food motivated, so <laughs> this was perfect for her. Um, I wouldn't recommend this toy for Syrian hamsters. It's probably a good size for robos and dwarfs, but it's maybe on the small side for Syrians. I, just in case they get stuck, I don't think they would, but those holes aren't very big. It's just wouldn't be a comfortable toy for them. And here is little Shirley trying out the sunflower head. Uh, this sunflower head ended up being the definite crowd favorite. Everybody loved the sunflower head. And once I put it in the playpen, when it was their turn to be in the playpen, they just spent all of their time <laughs> gathering sunflower seeds. So I would have to kind of place it in there and then take it away after a while just to encourage them to do other things and not just only eat sunflowers <laughs> but um, they did really love this and it seemed to entertain them for a long time and they do have to work you know they have to work to get those seeds out so it is definitely a good activity for them and I would say it still took them some time to to really get through it all um, maybe a few weeks of of playtime before they finish the sunflower head so for the price I think it's a great it's a great fun thing for them and it really seemed to make them happy to do it. So I really love this. I'm definitely gonna buy some more sunflower heads.
And here is Shirley again. She's in the natural theme playpen that I've made. And she is loving the sorghum, <laughs> more sorghum. Um, I stuck the sorghum in the top of the coconut hide and this was kind of perfect because then they sort of had to work again to get to it, which was fun. And just to make sure that nobody gets injured underneath those hides, it's a layer of fleece, but then underneath it is um, some towels and fleece blankets. So if they tumble, they're gonna be fine. It's nice and soft. It's not just a hardwood floor. So just something to keep in mind, you know, you wanna make sure your hamsters stay safe. And here she is, another tactic to get at that sorghum. She did this for a long time. I think she really enjoyed this. There were actually other sprays in there that were easier to get at, but I, actually, I think they just like working for it. And here is Steven. Steven is in his 200 quart bin cage and he is enjoying the red foxtail millet. So in my shipment, I got two different types of millet, the red foxtail millet and like a pearl spray type millet. And I found that I could kind of place this in his cage and he would nibble at it, but he'd sort of forget about it or wouldn't find it. So it was something I could put in a corner and um, he eats slowly. So it's okay, unlike flax seeds, I can't leave <laughs> too many flax seeds for him, but this was perfect. And everybody seems to like the millet, you know. It's definitely not the same amount of enthusiasm as flax seeds, but you can see nobody's saying no to millet. Again, this is kind of a rare shot for little Steven because he's so shy. So I think this is another testament to how good the sprays are and I've really enjoyed this shipment so far so I would definitely shop at Redwood Grove again. And this is the final spray, the Pearl Millet and it's very up close with little Sophia. You can see that she's kind of nibbling in the background there. Um, so I really, I think all my hamsters enjoyed everything in this shipment. It was wonderful and I will definitely shop there again. If you have a favorite place to get hamster sprays, um, please leave me a comment below. I love to hear about other places uh, to shop and to support the small businesses that are providing our little hamsters with fun activities. It's great to support them. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.